Okay, so here we are on the lateral side of the leg, and we're at the stub of the tail, and we're just a little bit lateral to that, and you can see some of the gluteus muscles. This is where the gluteus medius is, and then just a little bit superficial to that is the gluteus maximus. It's just about this wide, and it's different from this muscle here. This is the caudofemoralis. So caudofemoralis, gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and then the muscle running alongside that's very large next to the caudofemoralis is the bicep femoris. Then we're going to take a look on the medial side of the leg, and we'll look at these two superficial muscles, the sartorius and the gracilis, and then they've been reflected on this side. So I'll pull the gracilis apart, I'll pull the sartorius apart, and you can see these deeper muscles. This muscle right here in the middle, this is pointed as like a triangle. This is the adductor femoris. You can imagine it contracting and adducting the leg. Then here's the semimembranosus, the semitendinosus here. So semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor femoris. This is the adductor longus. It's thinner. It's often a little bit darker, just that wide. And then the pectineus is an even smaller muscle, maybe even also uh, a little bit darker, and it runs right there. So there's the pectineus, a pretty small muscle, adductor longus. And now let's take a look at the quadriceps muscles, and this is where we see the famous hot dog. And the middle of the hot dog is the rectus femoris, and kind of the two buns are these two vastus muscles, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. And when we take a look between the lateralis and the rectus feminis, we see the vastus intermedius. And it's a, a deep, dark muscle that's just up against the femur there. And we see the bicep femoris again. And I'm going to look over here. And this is looking at the unreflected lateral side of the leg, bicep femoris once again. Then this white area here is called the fascia lata. You can kind of lift it off. And then you can see that there's a muscular portion here, more proximally, and it attaches to this sheath of the the fascia lata. This is called the tensor fascia lata. There's a little part of it here, a little part of it here, and when it contracts it would tense this whole sheet of the fascia lata. Okay, um, now here we are on the, the calf, in the back of the calf, and we see this um, very obvious gastric nemius muscle. is a bipinnate muscle that um, has fiber directions kind of coming in like a V onto a tendon, and that tendon's going to the calcaneus of the cat. And then we'll just go a little bit more laterally here. And we have this muscle that you can also lift up off of the bone. And this is the soleus. And this is the pronius longus, the extensor digitorum longus, and the tibialis anterior. So that spells pet, those last three muscles. The tibialis anterior is indeed just a little bit anterior to the tibia. There's the tibia, and, and then you go a little bit more anteriorly, and you can see that muscle. Um, and the extensor digitorum longus has a tendon that goes to the tops of the toes, while the tendon for the tibialis anterior goes on the medial side of the foot and goes a little bit underneath it. Then um, another muscle we're covering here is on this medial side of the leg, a little bit deeper, is the plantaris. So we have 
the gastrocnemius again, and then this muscle that's next to it is plantaris.